I want to talk for a moment about pie. Um, this is a pie I bought from Migro, um, the supermarket in Verbier, uh, to this afternoon when I got back from skiing. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of meat it is. Um, there is, um, could be anything really. I think it's savoury. Um, I'm just going to take you through uh, this um, voyage of discovery. Um, as as I go through it, you know, I, I want to share with you guys. So, uh, starting at the top, uh, we have what seems to be a gelatinous substance, much like a pork pie would have, um, encasing the meat in, inside the pastry, um, and a some sort of diamond configuration on the top. I don't know whether you can you can see that. Yeah, the um, the pastry feels soft rather than crunchy. Um, But it does smell like a pork pie. It's got that that scent to it. Let's um let's take a look inside. Quite dense to cut. It's um it's a pork pie. It's a French pork pie. Well, part of me is happy about that, you know, I can't deny my love of pork pies. Um, uh, they, they are supreme among pies. Um, I mean, I, I like a steak and ale pie. Um, but I think uh, it's definitely in the top three pie chart, if you will. But part of me is slightly disappointed because I was hoping for some interesting, interesting sort of combination of unusual meats that I've never tried before. Um, and so, so YouTubers, I'm a little bit gutted. And I'm sorry that it wasn't more interesting for you. Um, what, what can I say? Uh, je suis désolé. Uh, I'm gonna eat my pie. I haven't got any mustard. <laughs>